as vehicle technology continues to evolve and the stringent car emission limits in Europe, turbocharged vehicles are gradually becoming the mainstream of the vehicle market and driving huge business opportunities for turbochargers. Facing the competitive factories worldwide, a Taiwanese company founded less than 10 years and dedicated to turbocharger manufacturing has become a new popular OEM turbocharger manufacturer in Europe and the United States. The factory treats every parts component like a meticulously crafted artwork, which may possibly cause harm to drivers once there is a careless mistake. In the next topic, you'll be led to spot how a Taiwanese proprietor successfully entered the European and the U.S. markets with the turbochargers. A large disc that rotates steadily plays a role of the thrust bearing that has the functions of lubrication for the turbocharger, being granulated carefully and once the grinding completed, take the measurements. If there's no problem, use the magnetic needle in the process for grinding so as to make the surface refined. Take one piece of well ground thrust bearing to compare the one without grinding. The surface is meticulous as a fine art. Once it doesn't have the functions of lubrication, usually the turbine will have an abnormal operation, and the deformation may happen as well. It looks very simple, but actually, looking at the central section, it has the high accuracy of 1 micrometer. The diameter of our hair is about 0.1 millimeter, and the deviation value is 0.001 millimeter. From parts to bearing system, each component of the turbocharger is enlarged to the maximum for careful carving in order to ensure the stability and safety of the product. Founded in 2011, the company has become one of several professional turbocharger manufacturers in Taiwan in less than 10 years, and its clients are all over Europe and North America. One of the clients in the United States, the UTV Group, accounts for 40% of world's market share and has finally decided to transfer their orders from mainland China to the OEM factory in Taiwan for production. Actually, we came into contact in 2013. Their initial plan was about how to transform a traditional engine into a turbocharged engine. At that time, he actually had two joint ventures in mainland China. We have the core component. Now, we have become the only supplier because we have the highest degree of stability. And because the series products are sold for use on the new UTV, what they are really concerned with for their consumer is stable quality. According to the statistics, driven by global environment trends and emerging market demands, the sales volume of the global automotive turbocharger has increased from 38 million units in 2016 to 49 million units in 2019, which is up to US $12 billion. The positioning of the factory adopts the highest standards and has passed the German TUV Rhineland International Organization for Standardization, Certification and I. IATF 16949, as well as obtained more than 10 patents. The person who has led the company forward is Neil Chen, who was born in 1977, the second generation of the group. In fact, what we see is that the turbine is a thing that will become a trend. It's somewhat like the smartphone. It's a trend of replacement. Our affiliated company in 2003 has a certain resource, and we put it as the focus and consider it will be a right trend in the industry. We hold some know-how in our hands. So setting up on the basis of the two elements, this is the part that I think is just the same as what I learned from economics. Neil Chen said he is an odd successor. In line with the group's requirements, he started working from the grassroots level, and he also studied hard on turbine-related research. Now he can be called as a turbine expert. On the basis of the group's routing in the field of automotive repair and parts for more than 30 years, the feedbacks gathered from related enterprises with maintenance experiences have become Neil Chen's niche in the turbocharger market. Also, the merger with the affiliated companies has increased the production of racing vehicles and customized production. The demand for future field cell vehicles has been focused. 
Looking at the larger factories such as Toyota and Honda, actually they all continue promoting the electric car. It seems to be the field of fuel cells. Actually, in the field of fuel cell sector, our turbocharger plays the same role. Customization will present our own color, and our own research will be carried within. So we can draw a clear line to be distinguished from manufacturers and mail in China. Due to the trend of decreasing birth rate and automation, Neil Chen has led the team to develop the cassette mechanism automated production line. Looking to the future, Neil Chen said the next phase will focus on the market in Japan and Taiwan. It is to bring this glory of recognition one in Europe and the United States into Asia and take root in Taiwan.